Hey guys, today we're going to be crafting a Dollar Tree and Cricut ornament and this is super fun to make, great for 2020. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. Let's get to it. Let's talk about the supplies that you'll need for this project. You'll want a hot glue gun, some Dollar Tree faux snow, a Dollar Tree jar, this is one of the plastic ones that's an ornament, some toilet paper, some Dollar Tree foam, Cricut Smart Vinyl. I'm using permanent and I believe this is dark red. Some Cricut transfer tape. And a mini scraper. And then I'm going to use the Cricut Joy for this project. If you have a Cricut um, Explorer 2 or a Cricut Maker, you can use that for it as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is start crafting the little mini rolls. So we're going to be making a mini toilet paper roll because this is our celebration of 2020. <laughs> so um, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to remove this lid so we have a better idea of the di diameter of the project that we're working on. We don't want to make this roll too large for the actual um, piece that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to keep this in mind of how big this needs to be. I want this to fit within here and have some extra space so I don't want to make it the full diameter of this. So I think I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller. Let's see. Probably because I want this to have a little bit more space. I'm probably going to cut it about that big. Right there. You can eyeball it, it doesn't have to be precise. And then we're going to play around with this. We're going to make this a little mini cardboard roll. So I think I'm going to cut this down. It's a few inches. You can also use cardboard if you have some. And I'm just going to roll this so that I can get it to have that kind of look. And we're going to um, add some tape here to keep this in place. So I think that's about right for the size of the toilet paper roll that I'm looking at because for this I want to make sure that the toilet paper roll is the focus of this ornament. So let me grab some tape and we'll get this going. You can use any tape that you might have handy. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree um, clear adhesive double stick and I'm just going to put this on the end here. So our next step with this, let's zoom in a little bit more. Our next step with this is we're going to add some toilet paper to this. So we're going to cut out toilet paper in approximately the right size for this. So um, I want it to cover the roll and I'm just going to cut this all the way along there and then just glue and roll this so that we get the same look as a little mini toilet paper roll. So first thing I'm going to do is measure this out to make sure that I have it right around the, the size that I need. And so all I'm doing is just holding this over and then making sure I have this the right size. And then I'm going to take this and continue the measurement along the way. It doesn't have to be precise. This is supposed to just be a fun little craft. We're having a good time. So um, kind of a tongue in cheek one. And this is something that, you know, hopefully will make you laugh or smile a little bit. Okay, because I don't know how long I need this to be, this is kind of an experimental craft, I thought I would just cut a few squares here and see, I'm leaving it all connected and we're going to apply it to our piece here. I wanted to use hot glue on this because I do want it to not move. So what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of hot glue to where this seam is here. 
just enough, hopefully, to keep that toilet paper in place. And we're going to apply the toilet paper to the top of our mini roll here. I have this on a low temperature for the hot glue gun, so that way it won't harm me. But you can also use um, the little fingertip covers from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to roll this along. Okay, it looks like I need a little bit more, so I'm going to continue cutting along this just to make sure that I have enough to cover it. I kind of want it to look like a good size little roll here. The nice thing is if you make multiples of these with, say, a Dollar Tree roll, you can definitely get um, a couple different ornaments out of um, a section at a time. So. So let's look at this inside here. I think that's about the right diameter that we're looking for. It's looking pretty good there. So I think we're going to um, cut it right there, right where it ends. And I'm gonna go inside a little bit and um, glue it just so, let me put like a double rollover on this and then glue it that way. So that way it doesn't seep through to the next level. So we'll take our glue gun Add a little bit of glue right there. So that way we have our little mini roll. Set that aside, our little mini toilet paper roll. Uh, 2020. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at our ornament itself, right? and what it will look like inside of here. I wanna make sure that I have this up high enough that you can see it. So I think what I'm gonna do is add a little piece of foam to the bottom. That's why I brought this just in case so that we could add a little section of foam. So what we can do is cut a little square of foam and use it to prop up right underneath there. Down just a little bit more. And now we get two pieces out of it. We can add this here and then add our little toilet paper roll on top. So we're gonna hot glue this down in the center. And add a fair amount of hot glue. Foam and hot glue usually don't mix, but we're going to just do this temporarily just so it, it has something to hold on to. You can use um, different types of adhesive as well. Kinda like that, I think that looks really fun. So what we're gonna do next is add some snow to this. So we're gonna take our faux snow and we're gonna open this up. This is a nightmare if you get it everywhere. So fair warning, avoid getting this everywhere. You probably will. I usually do every time I use it, but it looks really cool when you're done. So we're gonna turn over our little cup here Oops, and we're just going to fill some inside of it. We want enough so that way we can see kind of the snow. Um, this will go inside here and cover up this base. So we want enough that it covers up the base and that this is peeking out of it. So I'm gonna probably add just a little hair more. And then what we're gonna do is flip this over and then just close this up. And then we're gonna flip it upside down. <laughs> so now we have our little toilet paper roll inside the snow. Cute. And let's add some vinyl to this so it looks nice and cute. And that way we have it so it's set in there the way that we want. 
Okay guys, we are going to be making the decal that goes on our little toilet paper roll um, ornament and I went ahead and created a quick project inside Cricut Design Space. I'll leave the link below so that you can go straight to the project and it's already sized for this container. You'll need some vinyl in, this is coffee um, colored, so some, some type of brown. We also will be using Smart Vinyl in white and Smart Vinyl in black. So um, it doesn't require a ton of colors, luckily, for this one. And if you only have um, the regular vinyl that's not Smart Vinyl, that's okay. You can totally use a mat instead with this. So don't feel limited by that. Um, what we're going to do is just open this up and get all of our project going. So I'm going to go into Make It on the bottom because I'm making a singular one for this one. We're going to choose without a mat since we're using the Cricut Joy for this one. And we don't have to worry about mirroring because that's only if you're doing iron on vinyl. So this one tells you how much material you need, which is two and a half inches in the black. And so we'll get that one ready to load in. So I'm going to grab the black material and select continue. It's going to connect to the Cricut Joy. So we're connecting and then we're going to select continue. We'll set which material we're using. We're using the Smart Vinyl in permanent and make sure that the blade is loaded in and not the drawing tool. We'll just load this in. It's measuring the material to make sure we have plenty of material and preparing and then we can select go. And now it will cut all of the black pieces for that. And then we will cut the brown and the white as well. Now it tells us to unload our material. So it's unloaded. And we will select the brown material and we're gonna choose the Smart Vinyl in Permanent. That's what I'm using for this one. And this is straight out of the box. You don't have to worry about cutting it. You can just roll it straight in the machine. And then we are going to choose Go and it'll start cutting. Now we can select unload and it will ask us to load the white and this is just going to be a very small piece for the eyes. I selected which material I'm using. And then the same process we're going to, once it's loaded in, we're going to select go. And now it'll start cutting. Okay, we can select to unload and it'll release that from the machine. All I'm doing right now is I'm cutting down any excess vinyl that I don't need from the design. This design is already attached together, so all of these pieces will be where they belong. We're going to weed this, so let me give you guys a close-up so you can see what we're doing. So to weed, what we do, as you can see when the light hits it, all of this is cut out. So we're just going to remove what we don't need from our design. We're going to start on the corner, and we're just going to slowly peel away from our design. Looks like the last one wanted to move up a little bit, so we're going to hold that piece down just to make sure it stays in. Okay. And this is super sticky because this is permanent vinyl, so what we're going to do is just be careful when you're removing the extra pieces and set them aside. You can roll 
this a little bit so that way it pops up um, the little gaps in between the pieces that you're removing. So we have our little finished design there and we also have layers on this one so there's going to be a layer in the back that is black and then on top of that we will put our layer that is brown and then a layer that is white and because we're building the little um, poop emoji design on this and that he's a multiple layered design. So we are going to remove the extra vinyl from our little emoji here. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. We're on to our last step here for weeding the vinyl on the little eyes that will surround it. So make sure to remove the little pieces from the inside of the eyes because we're going to have the pupils show through in the back. Okay. So we have all the pieces that we need to build off of. And now what we're going to do is cut a piece of transfer tape. The transfer tape will help us to move it from this surface to our ornament. So we'll cut a small piece and we can reuse this for um, everything that we're using here. So we'll cut it to fit this size and then we can cut it down if we need to. We're going to remove our transfer tape from the backing and we're going to place it on the top here. I'm making a slight V shape with this so only the center will hit and then I'm just going to lay down the center of this and roll it out towards the outsides here. And then what we're going to do is use our Cricut scraper tool. We'll use our Cricut scraper tool and we'll just press this down to remove any extra air bubbles or anything that's in the way. Now we have our little transfer and it's ready to be placed on here. We also have the little emoji so we just need to make sure we keep enough space for the emoji up here. I'm going to make sure that since there are seams along here that we place this towards the center away from those seams. So just lay down your ornament flat and what you can do is use your fingers to hold the size of the ornament and then you can place it so that this is just hitting the center and then you can roll this around the ornament. Since this one is a nice uh, rounded one, it doesn't have kind of an odd shape on this so it's very easy to work with um, for applying the vinyl. You can use a cloth if you want to make sure that you get um, good pressure even on rounded surfaces it works really well. I'm going to use my Cricut scraper tool and just go over this just to make sure that it's adhering really well. That part's ready to go, so what we're going to do is we're going to start removing it. You can always check the corner as you're working just to make sure that everything is adhering, which it is. And then we'll just keep rolling that off. So cute. We survived 2020. And now we're going to do our little poop emoji. 
So we will take that and place this in the center and then make sure that this is attached to the transfer tape. And now we can take our little poop emoji and place it. I'm going to leave some space on this. We could put it right here, but because we're going to have the little toilet paper roll right in the middle, I'm going to put this a little higher. So I'm just starting on the bottom there and then I'm rolling it up towards the top. So just make sure you're using your scraper tool. And we're going to remove the tape, the transfer tape. As you can see, you get a nice even finish on that. There's no air bubbles. So just make sure if you see any air bubbles that you push them out towards the sides, but that looks pretty good. So we're going to take our little um, brown layer and we're going to add the little brown layer on. It's the same thing. Then we can add this to right here. So we're going to line this up using the outside of this as the template. Then we're going to take our little mini eyes. There's our little tiny eyes. And we're going to line this up, as you can see, on the outside right there and right there. I always like to remove the standard ties that come with this and take Dollar Tree ribbon. This is a great way to use up um, some ribbon and add a little fun accent to it. It just looks more custom. So 
I'm going to cut this a little bit longer than I need because we're going to tie it and it looks better if you have a little bit of extra. So let's tie that. And that's really cute. I love how that turned out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future content. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see for the rest of the holidays. And I hope you're having a great week. Let me know what you're working on crafting. I'll see you guys later.